Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela Durr and today's video is all about skin. showing you my plant-based skincare routine with my plant-based skincare brand as Zaki Organics. I'll also be incorporating my gua sha and my steamer throughout today's routine so you definitely want to stick through for that. So the first step for me is to hydrate. So I'll be showing you how I make my super fancy water. It's so easy but so good. Alright, so this is a super healthy alternative for me. Um, I use um, ice cubes, I chopped up some dragon fruit, cucumber, I added ginger in there as well. Um, I'm infusing some herbs in here as well, sage, rosemary, and, and thyme. Those are my holy trinity. I throw in some blueberries. And then the most important step of it all is carbonated water. Um, if you're like me and you don't drink soda, then you'll enjoy um, carbonated water every once in a while. I'm not drinking that tap stuff. It's absolutely disgusting. I actually haven't got energy to talk to you. I feel so dehydrated and lightheaded. I feel lightheaded. And now we cleanse. So for today's routine, I'll be using my Dragon Fruit and Pomegranate line. I formulated this specifically with hyperpigmented and acne prone skin in mind. Mind you, prior to formulating, I kind of broke into a little cystic acne or whatever from my IUD. So in a sense, I made it my mission to use myself as a canvas for formulating products for hyperpigmented skin and actually using those products on myself to ensure that they are results driven. Honestly, I looked so vile and so grotesque. I had these cystic acne breakouts on my forehead, on my cheeks, on my neck. It was so vile. But to be frank, I do think my hyperpigmentation has decreased significantly and all I've been using is Azaki Organic. So watch this space. And now we cleanse. <laughs> so to cleanse, we'll be using the Dragon Fruit and Pomegranate Cleanser. What you want to do is dampen the skin beforehand, pump a couple of squirts of the cleanser onto the palms of your hands and lather in your hand, then work it into the face. You want to do this for a minimum of 60 seconds. 60 seconds ensures that you're getting all the nooks and crannies of your face that you normally tend to forget, and it definitely ensures that all that pesky oil and dirt and grime has been broken down. Ooh. Oh, blimey. Now I'm just gonna go in and wipe this off with my removing puff. So as you can see, this is freshly cleansed skin. It's not dry, it's not tight, it's just skin, how skin should be. And that's exactly what I had in mind when I was making my formulations. I wanted to ensure that I include nothing but moisture-loving agents in my recipes. So now what I do after cleansing, I go in with my toner and I just spritz a couple on the face. So I spritz this on my face periodically throughout the day. When it's really cold and dry, I use this to put moisture back onto the face. When it's really hot, I spray this to cool myself down. After applying my makeup and setting spray, I always go in with this after just to give my skin a little bit more TLC. I spritz my pomegranate and willow bark toner on the insides of my face mask before applying it and that really helps significantly with mask needs. When I'm making my clay mask or powdered mask, instead of diluting with plain water, I'll go in with this because this is literally so good. I formulated this with 2% willow bark which is amazing. Willow bark contains salicin which is a natural source of salicylic acid. 
Salicin has off the charts antimicrobial and anti-inflammatory properties. Salicin is also known to be an astringent. It constricts the surface that it comes in contact with, so this definitely helps with minimizing our pores. So to boost blood circulation and activate my lymph vessels, I'm gonna go in with my guasa, and yeah, she's pink, yeah, she's on brand, and what else is new? So to create a smooth canvas and to ensure that there is an excessive friction on my face, I'm gonna go in with um, Hyoba oil. Fun fact, I formulate the cleansers with 2% Hyoba oil. Hyoba oil is non-comedogenic, so it doesn't clog the pores, and it really helps to regulate excess oil. Now that we have a smooth canvas, we're gonna go in with our guasa. This really helps significantly with relieving tension. It really helps with de-puffing the face as well. To a certain extent, what we're really doing is sculpting the face. This is such an amazing way to encourage lymphatic drainage. It definitely helps boost blood circulation as well. Next is Le Application du Mask. I'm gonna go in with my Dragon Fruit Plus AHA mask. I formulated this with a unique blend of naturally occurring alpha hydroxy acids consisting of lactic acid from the bilberries, glycolic acid from the sugar cane, citric acid from the orange and lemon, and malic and tartaric acid from the sugar maple. Alpha hydroxy acids are recognized for their amazing exfoliating properties. They're known to penetrate deeper within the layers of the skin than a physical exfoliant would and really help significantly with cell regeneration by shedding off those built up dead skin cells and excess oil to just generally soften and brighten your complexion and help reveal a more refreshed and radiant glow. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this all over the face and neck. Now because this is formulated with 2.5% um, AHA, you might feel a slight tingling sensation that should dissipate over time. Always conduct a patch test before trying out a new product, especially if you have sensitive skin. And what I find super helpful is applying my mask with a foundation brush, but a brush solely assigned for skincare. I find that I use way less product with a foundation brush. And this ends up lasting a long run. So I literally made my dreams come true with this mask. I love the best of both worlds. I do love a cooling mask, but I also love when I can feel and I know that a mask is effective and it's doing its work. This is cool to the touch because it is a jelly mask and it has a gel-like consistency. Upon application to the face, you, it does feel cool and then a few seconds after it kicks in and you feel the AHA at work. Our Guasa really did help to boost blood circulation and encourage lymphatic drainage and really activate those vessels So now that I've applied our AHA mask with all those active ingredients, to ensure that the active ingredients in the mask do penetrate and deliver, I'm going to go ahead and open up the pores avec les mer. And yes, yeah, she's pink. She's on brand, just like everything else. <laughs> oh my gosh this genuinely just feels so good if you don't have a steamer what i used to do and what i still do when i cook like when i make rice or pasta or boiled potatoes right before draining i just put my head over the pot the combined um, efforts of the guasa and the steamer really ensures that the active ingredients aren't just sitting on my face, that they do penetrate deeper within the layers of the skin. It really helps significantly with cell regeneration and cell renewal rates. I'm going to go in with removing puff and wipe this all off as well. Okay, I'm going to go in with my toner again and wipe off any residue off the face. I would say that I'm using this to balance the pH levels on my face, but all my products are pH balanced, so... so next, I'm going to go in with my The Ordinary Caffeine Solution for my under eye. What can I, do? I just gently dab that right there. And now I'm going to go in with my Arbutin Plus Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I'm going to just dab that on the face. 
the neck and the decolletage this has been a serious game changer when it comes to my skincare and when it just comes to rectifying my skin from the damages of that aggressive cystic acne it really helped significantly to even out my skin tone. Arbutin has been a serious lifesaver for me. What Arbutin does is it really helps significantly to even out your skin tone. What it really scientifically does, it, it pauses excess melanin production that is due to aggressive acne or sun damage. And then it just helps to rectify that by evening out the skin tone. I formulated this with hyaluronic acid as well. Hyaluronic acid is a cult favorite when it comes to just hydration and moisture in general. It is a king of all humectants. What it does is that once topically applied, hyaluronic acid picks up moisture content from your surroundings and from the deeper layers of your skin and just brings it up to this top layer to give you that cushiony plump youthful look if not applied properly hyaluronic acid can actually have reverse effects on you so instead of giving you that soft cushiony plump look you might end up with dry skin instead What you have to bear in mind is that, as I said earlier on, hyaluronic acid picks up moisture content from your surroundings and from the deeper layers of your skin and brings it up to this top layer. Now, if you don't seal that in with an occlusive or moisturizer of choice, what happens is that hyaluronic acid then totally takes all that moisture and exits stage left. What you want to do is Seal that in with an occlusive or moisturizer of choice to ensure that it is retained in this top layer where you really want it to show. So I'm going to go in with this Believe Aqua Bomb Moisturizer. It is literally the bomb.com. And what I'm going to do is just warm this in my hands. Dab this on the face, the neck, and the decolletage. If you do layer your products, what you want to do is dab it on the skin because if you rub it in it tends to result in piling because you're basically rubbing everything off of your skin so you just want to gently dab it in i find that the most efficient especially if you layer your products so this is my typical routine if i'm homebound or if i'm about to head to bed if you'd like to top this off with an oil, go ahead and top it off with an oil of choice. If you are heading out, then please do include SPF in your routine. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So for today's routine, we use the Clarifying Dragon Freedom Pomegranate line. This is geared towards hyperpigmented and acne prone skin types on the spectrum. Simply because the combined vitamin C content between dragon fruit and pomegranate is literally off the charts. We also have the Soothing Cucumber and Chamomile line. This is geared towards drier, duller skin types on the spectrum. Mind you, we don't use any artificial fragrances in any of our products. All you smell is a unique blend of hydrosols and extracts. And this literally smells so divine so good we also have a hydrating blueberry line this is geared towards combo oilier skin types every time i use this cleanser my skin is instantaneously so much more clearer and brighter i really 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 love this line i do offer skin kits as well so as you saw each line comes with its own corresponding cleanser toner and mask so with a skin kit you'd be getting those three items and you get the option to select between either the rejuvenating arbutin and hyaluronic acid serum or the nourishing mushroom and oat serum both have been serious game changers for me they're super conditioning but they treat the skin as well i will leave timestamps down in the description box below for easy navigation i'll also be including a link to my website so you can go ahead and check that out honestly i'm just so proud of myself i formulated these products all on my own i built my website all on my own and now i'm just ready to share my babies with the world and these products have been serious game changers for me in helping to rectify my skin so go ahead and check these out trust me your skin will thank you after 28 days of consistent use and if you're still here i honestly love you if you need any clarification or have any comments leave Leave them down in the comments below and I'll make sure that I get to you. So make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, check out my Instagram and make sure you check out exactyorganics.com and I'll see you in the next routine. Bye!